deacons, all the ministers of this wonderful assembly. Praise the Lord Jesus. I, I always say praise God. I, I don't know all of the names. Amen. And, and so if I, if I don't call the names, it's not out of a lack of respect. But one day I believe I'm going to know all your names. Amen. And I'll spend the time to greet you individually. Praise God. It would be remiss of me not to greet the Browns. Praise the Lord. Brother and Sister Brown. Praise the Lord. They have been so good to me. Amen. Every time I desire to come over and just spend a few days, I can do that. Praise God. And their house is always open. Praise the Lord. I had some wonderful pea soup last night. For those of you who don't like pork, I'm sorry for you. Half your life is missing. Oh, praise the name. There are two kinds of people in church. Amen. In fact, when, when Elisha came back to the river of Jordan, praise God, Elijah on his way over had struck the water with his mantle and he watched as the water parted. Amen. After Elijah crossed, Elijah went up into heaven and Elisha caught the mantle and Elisha had to go back home. But there was a river Jordan, a dirty muddy river Jordan that he had to cross. Amen. And Elisha walked up to the river and he said something very profound. You, you know what he said? Apparently, although he had been following Elijah for so long, he did not know Elijah's God just right just yet. So I heard the man say, he took the mantle in his hand and he walked up to the water. And, and I heard him say, yeah! It's the God of Elijah. In other words, I've heard about him. But what I heard can't help me right now. Uh, I've heard about him. Mommy told me about a God that can heal. But mommy could. But your testimony can't help me right now. In my situation, where is the God? Is there, is there anybody in this place that is not satisfied with what mommy told me about Jesus? And anybody want to know him for themselves? Anybody want to raise their hand right now and say, where is the God of Elijah? I, I need to. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. That's why sometimes when we are singing some songs in church, some people will sit down and you wonder what's going on. Because they have not met him yet. Some can sing a song like, what you think about Jesus? And some people still have not moved yet. Because they have not met the Jesus that we are talking about. But if there's anybody in this room that has met the deliverer Jesus, when the song begins to sing, we have got to jump up on our feet. We have got to wave our hands. We have got to shout and sing. Because we have met him for ourselves. And we know him to be a great and mighty God. You, you see when you know God for yourself nobody has to come and tell you to worship God something comes out of your heart right away and you begin to worship God all on your own because you have met him oh praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord turn your Bibles with me stand on your feet praise the Lord praise the Lord Jesus amen Turn with me to the book of John, chapter 4. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's such a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. It's my first time here on a Sunday morning. Such a beautiful sanctuary. First time seeing it filled. No, that's not true. I was here one night with my good friend, Minister Nash. Praise God. The first time in this capacity. Praise the Lord. Amen. Also, find in your Bibles for me the book of Mark, chapter 14. Amen. So, John chapter 4, from verse 21, and then Mark chapter 14. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when he shall neither worship, shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. He worship he know not what. We know what we worship. That's a great statement, praise God. We know. We know what we worship. Quiet, can you say that we know who we sing to? For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour coming now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Mark chapter 14, praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. From verse 3, praise God. And being in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard, very precious. And she break the box. Now something very interesting happens here. The last thing we heard is that it was very precious. What you expect to hear next is that she hid it and protected it in a very safe place. Because normally the precious things, you put it on the back shelf where the kids can't reach it. See that praise God? But she break the box, read it, pour it out on his head, had indignation within themselves and said, why was this waste of the ointment made? For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence and have been given to the poor. And they murmured against her. Jesus said, let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work on me. For he hath the poor with you always. And whensoever he will be, he may do them good. But me he have not always. She hath done what she could. She is come forth and to anoint me, my body, to the burying. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her. Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus, we thank great and mighty God. Amen. In fact, sometimes there's a song that says, Our God is an awesome God he raised. When I'm singing that song, I don't say he is an awesome God. I say he is the awesome God. Because I recognize that he is the only. Praise God. I don't know how much of us realize it. But our God is the only wise God. In fact he knows everything. And if there is one thing that our God does not know. It's another God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So he says in Isaiah praise God. Is here a God. Praise the Lord. It is I who stretched out the heavens. I laid the foundation of the world. Praise God. He said to Job, Can you lift up your voice unto the lightning and command it to flash? And the lightning has to obey your voice. Can you say to the rain, Go over and Spanish town and fall? And the rain has to obey your voice. I am God alone and there is none else. Come on, sure. 
church do you understand this morning that you are serving the one the only living God the Bible said the gods of the nations are idols but our God created the heavens praise the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah oh somebody want to lift their hands and thank God Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He says to Isaiah, praise the Lord Jesus. Have you not heard? Have you not known that the everlasting God, he fainted not. 